Welcome everyone to the fourth episode of Pixar Fest. In this video we will see some awesome and spectacular races that will feature many battles that include smashes and some crashes. So let us find out which racer has the skill to move forward in the grand championship. Let's begin! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, in this fourth installment of Pixar Fest, we will be reviewing Piston Cup Racers, along with a very special edition of Lightning McQueen. So let's go ahead and get started. Might I remind you that our racers will be going down this gigantically ginormous racetrack, and as they pass the first turn, they will receive one point. Moving right along towards our second turn, if they pass it, they will receive a second point. And then if all of our racers make it down towards the finish line, they will receive a third point for crossing it. And whoever crosses the finish line first will receive an additional point for a total of four points. And whoever triumphs out of the four races will join our three other competitors for the Grand Championship. Let's start reviewing our racers. First up is an awesome car with a really cool picture on the front. Here's what he looks like in the packaging for those of you who collect them, and then there are some more cars on the back. Let's go ahead and get them out so that we can review them better. I present to you, Jimmy Cables! Racing with the number 00 and sponsored by Intersection, his main colors are pink, purple, and red. Moving right along to our next die cast, we have a really cool picture of this awesome car. Do you have him in your collection? If you do, let me know. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging so that we can review him. I present to you, JD McPillar. Racing with the number four and sponsored by Toe Cap, his main colors are light blue, purple, and green. Doesn't he look slick? Next up is our third racer with a really stunning picture on the front there. Do you think he looks cool? If you do, let me know. And then on the back we have other racers from the same box. Let's go ahead and get him out so that way we can see him better. I present to you, Brian Spark. Racing with the number 52 and sponsored by Leakless, his main colors are yellow, white, and black. I think the oil spill design on him looks pretty cool. And now for our fourth and final die cast, we have a very special edition of Lightning McQueen, the golden version of the 95. Look at that awesome graphic on the front there. Here on the back, we can see the Golden 95 even better. What do you think about this new special version of Lightning McQueen? Do you like him? If you do, let me know. Let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging so that we can review him. I present to you, Golden Lightning McQueen. Racing with the number 95 and sponsored by Rusty's. His main colors are red, orange, and gold. I think that he looks really cool with this new paint job. So here are our four racers lined up and ready to battle. I think that we should get them on the track so they can race. In the front, we have the number 52 and 95. In the back, we have the number 00 and number 4. And our racers off with them starting side by side, but Brian Sparks quickly takes first position. Whoa, some wackiness going on in the first turn there, but they quickly fall into line. Now going side by side, weaving in and out of lanes. All of our racers have made it past the second turn with JD McPillar pulling up the rear as they all cross the finish line. Let's check out the instant replay to watch the action again. And the number 52 takes first position, but some contact there with Golden Lightning McQueen. Brian Sparks now flipping sideways as they go into the first turn. He quickly corrects it, escaping any danger that he might have been in. Now all our cars have moved into a row, moving in and out of lanes as they come around the first turn. Whoa, Lightning McQueen almost skids out there, but the number 95 saves himself from certain peril as the number 4 stays in last position. All four of our racers have made it across the finish line, so they all receive three points except for Brian Sparks who receives an additional point for crossing the finish line first and so here are our standings after the first race Brian Sparks with four points and everyone else with three and for our second race we have the number 95 and four in front with Brian Sparks and Jimmy Cables in the back 
our racers are off at full speed ahead with Lenny McQueen taking first position. They round that first turn very smoothly. And whoa, 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 I can't believe what I just saw. Did you all see that? We'll have to watch that again in the instant replay. And the big one happening behind Lightning McQueen as he crosses the finish line. And now let's watch the instant replay to find out what in the world happened during that race. Lightning McQueen pulls out into first position with some impact between Brian Sparks and JD McPillar as they round the first turn. It looks like Jamie Cables is way back there in fourth position as they come out of turn one. It looks like Lightning McQueen made contact with the exterior wall and Brian Sparks pushes him back onto the track before he flips over the edge. Rusty's is now driving backwards and then BAM! Brian Sparks jumps on top of him. It looks like Jimmy Cables is still way back there rounding turn two as he pulls up the rear and makes contact with JD McPillar. Three of our racers did not cross the finish line for they were all in a wreck. But Lightning McQueen crossed the finish line so he receives three points. Since he crossed it first he receives an additional point for a total of four points. And so here are our standings after the second race. It's still anyone's game. Who will be the fastest to qualify for the championship? And for our third race, we have J.D. McPillar and Jimmy Cables in the front. And they're off with our racer starting steadily side by side. J.D. McPillar pulls into first, followed by Golden Lightning McQueen. Whoa, what was that? I can't believe what just happened. The number four losing his confidence and pumping on the brakes, causing the big one behind him. Let's check out the instant replay to review the action one more time. And our racers are off as J.D. McPillar pulls into first position, followed by Lightning McQueen. Some contact in the back there with Brian Sparks and Jimmy Cables as they round the first turn. Lightning McQueen and J.D. McPillar smoothly take that turn with number 95 almost skidding out there and losing control and oh there was contact in the back there causing Brian Sparks to flip over I god I hope he's okay the rest of our racers over here in the front have pumped on the brakes let's check in on Brian Sparks back here at turn number two he's all flipped over but he's made it to turn number two so he gets two points the rest of the racers have made it past turn number two but did not cross the finish line so they also score two points as well let's take a look at our standings after the third race Brian Sparks and Golden Lightning McQueen are tied in first place. Who will be the fastest to break the tie? And for our fourth race, we have Jimmy Cables and Brian Sparks in the front. And our racers are off at full speed ahead, with Jimmy Cables pulling into first position and Toe Cap falling into second. The number four looking for that opening, and he takes it, and whoa, 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 oh my goodness, folks, did you all see that? Someone just completely fell off the tracks. We need to watch the second replay to figure out what just happened. It seems as though Jimmy Cables takes first position, and then in the back there is some contact with the exterior wall, which pushes Brian Sparks into Golden Lightning McQueen, flipping him backwards. And now the number four comes up out of nowhere and passes the number zero zero and Brian Sparks tries the same maneuver but BAM gets thrown off of the track oh my goodness I hope he's okay intersection lands the jump and where is Golden Lightning McQueen he's way back there coming in hot and fast as he crosses the finish line and then way back here in the back we have Brian Sparks who flipped over off of the track oh my goodness I really do hope he's okay and then all the way over here at the finish line we have all three of the racers who crossed it receiving a total of three points but it was JD McPillar who crossed it first so he receives an additional Additional point for a total of four points and oh my goodness folks we are tied for first place at 12 points between toe cap and golden lightning mcqueen we need to have a tiebreaker to see who will be the winner and our racers are off as they steadily start side by side but slowly jay mcpillar pulls into first position and lightning mcqueen falls into second will the number 95 be able to stay there will he be able to pass jd mcpillar oh my gosh what just happened there we need to watch the second replay to find out what just happened here we have the number four pulling into first position as lightning mcqueen almost makes contact with the exterior wall which nearly pushes him backwards but he recovers greatly and here we have both of the racers trying to maintain control as they come around the second turn JD McPillar has the lead as he makes the jump, but then falls off the track, allowing Lightning McQueen to make the pass and cross the finish line first. And then over here we have JD McPillar flipped over off of the track after he made the jump, but could just not stick the landing. And then way over here at the finish line, we have Golden Lightning McQueen who crossed it, allowing him to win the first tiebreaker race. What a great battle! And now for our next tiebreaker, our racers have switched positions. 
in their office. Golden Lightning McQueen pulls into first position and JD McPillar falls into second as they round that first turn. It seems as though the number four is pumped on the brakes because there is no stopping the 95 as he leaves toe cap in his dust. Let's check out the instant replay to watch the action one more time. As our racers begin, the number 95 furiously takes first position as toe cap falls behind and settles into second place. The number four makes contact with the interior wall which almost makes him lose control but he recovers. Golden Lightning McQueen now smoothly taking that second turn as he lines up for the jump and lands it beautifully as he crosses the finish line clearly the first one to do so. And here are our racers after the second tiebreaker. Golden Lightning McQueen in first and JD McPillar in second. And here are our final standings. The Golden Lightning McQueen with a total of 14 points which allows him to move forward to the final match. Congratulations to all of the racers that participated in today's races. And here are all the racers that we reviewed in today's video. The number 00, Jimmy Cables. The number 4, JD McPillar. The number 52, Brian Sparks. And lastly, the number 95, the Golden Lightning McQueen. Which of these racers that was featured in today's video was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And there we have it folks, all four racers that are ready to race for the Grand Championship. So join us next time to watch an exciting race that will finish out Pixar Fest. Thank you so much to everyone who watched this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to check out more of our content. And also remember to share it with your friends. But in the meantime, keep racing!